Hi Scorpio, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with the Scorpio and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And just for right now, I am not offering personal readings. I um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be making a lot of big shifts. So I'm just preparing for that. They will open up again, so my website info is down below for when that opens up that you guys can keep touch on. Um, and just wanted to say, as always, thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. All right. There's your door. I love my setup today. Okay. We have got, popping out for you, Scorps, we've got the Ace of Wands and the Lovers. Definite partnership here going on. There's someone that you have a lot of passion for. Um, or someone that has a lot of passion for you. Um, I will also tell you guys, you will probably start to feel more of your sexual energy coming up around certain connections. And that's actually what I'm kind of seeing with this. Oh, look what's on the bottom, the Ace of Wands. I think that um, you could have some type of indicator that someone reaches out to you because with the lover's card i just get this sense that kind of there's a lot of passion between you and a particular person and you can almost tell when they're either thinking about you're reaching or close to reaching out because they you could start to have like maybe all these fantasies of this person type of thing do you know what i mean so we've got the hanged man so there's a definite thing going on here that there's a connection here that um I feel like either you, Scorpio, like you could be feeling stuck or the other person. I don't know. There's just something here around feeling stuck and having a hard time being together physically. Okay. And expressing the passion between you and this person at the level that you want it to be. So let's dive in and see what comes out here. There you are. There's the queen of cups. Okay. Don't get caught up by the gender. And we got the Four of Swords. So I can see, um, this is really, uh, I hate when I see this kind of stuff. So it's almost like when you guys are just in your thoughts, kind of like when things are, when you don't have stressful, crazy things going on, your mind really wanders to this particular person and the passion that you had with them. And there's something here where it like kind of triggers another response for you to see in your environment that you're not really where you want to be or you're not really close to them, but it's not really so much that. That's the excuse that you're using for that time that you felt passion. You're using this person as the excuse to conjure up that energy within yourself. But because of that, it's also triggering this response that you're also seeing that you have a lack of that or you're away from it. There's like this really interesting combination chemically and emotionally I can see that gets like, comes in combination with one another. And the temperance card. So yeah, look, every time the four of swords and temperance come out together, it's always about meditation, but it's about, there's a certain area of your life that it's, um, this is coming in to highlight where you're not feeling balanced, where you're not feeling fulfilled. And a lot of it is correlated to your guys's passion. So that's why sometimes it can come out to be like shown and express like, towards another human but it's really because you're wanting it for yourself. Like that could be a creative thing or, you know, things like that. So let's see what your past energy is. The emperor, okay. Well, that's perfect. You could be dealing with an Aries here. Um, a big emphasis on fire. So here's the thing. I think alchemically what's coming up is there's some type of situation that maybe you guys are dealing with right now where you feel as though you are a bit dependent on an authoritative figure. Maybe it's even a spouse. That could be a boss. That could be a spouse. There's just something here where you just still feel a bit like you have to depend on this higher authority or something more stable or just someone that has things a little bit more put together. Okay. 
And it, so it causes all this other stuff because this is really you. This is the fascinating entanglement, Scorps, is that you can be the emperor in some way, shape, or form. And, or maybe you're dreaming about that and wishing for it. But there's still something where you're like feeling a little bit of lack. So there's this big emphasis on getting balanced, meditation, balancing out your emotions. Maybe that's through diet or however this is. However you guys get your emotions on track and balance. That's the big time emphasis here that's going to help you get ready to take control over something. To build some type of structure. To do something kind of big. All right. So that's why if you're feeling a little bit stuck right now, it's because, yeah, you're preparing for this and it's not going to be. Yeah. What did I say? There's the fool card. So there's the leap. And that's why for whoever you guys are, you're dealing with this. You're learning a lot. So continue to entangle from this person at as much of a distance you can, because with the hanged man, I'm just a titch cautious that. You're being kind of like left to the wolves. I don't even think that's right. You guys know I'm terrible at sayings. I can understand biology, chemistry, and quantum physics, but I cannot memorize a quote to save my life. I don't know why. So anyway, what I'm going to say, the full card, it means, yeah, you're getting ready to take a leap, but energetically you're having to rev up. And so sometimes what you can do is you can pull in a lover, you can pull in another person that's highlighting this. And sometimes just you being around their energy for a while is going to help you to realize that it's actually a reality here. And so maybe even some of you guys, this isn't actually a 3D person. It could be that you're diving into like YouTube videos and you're starting to just incorporate your energy with this new reality that you're wanting to shift into, but you're almost needing to integrate yourself emotionally and chemically into it first. Eight of Swords is in your fear position. So yeah, you've got a big time emphasis where you feel kind of stuck. I would just stay really cautious of that because like I said, when you've got certain energies and chemical programmings inside of you, there, that's going to cause a chain reaction in things manifesting in your environment. So with that Eight of Swords, it could be that you're feeling stuck in your mind. But it's just self-entrapment in the mind. It's not even really real. You have to find ways that are going to create freedom and vortexes of, of freedom in your reality right now. Because it's that's what's there. You have these doors open. And I will tell you guys that from personal experience. Like... I wish I had known this more back in the day because I'll just tell you the guys this personally. When I first started my business, I'll make this really brief, I promise, but I, w I freaking lost it. Like I was living out of my car for a good three to four months. That time always gets longer, I've noticed. It was three months. <laughs> and I was back and forth. I would sometimes, I was sleeping in different places. A lot of the time I was sleeping out of my car and I was going and meditating at this Buddhist Sangha. And the whole freaking time, I was just in so much paranoia. I was having panic attacks because I had just quit my career and made this dive into the unknown. And the freaking universe was there sending me all these things and protecting me the whole entire time. And I didn't even see it. Like I just had all my focus on, oh my gosh, my savings are running out and all this stuff. And I didn't even see all of these windows that were opening up that were providing me like avenues that I could get out of this situation in a safe way, but I just wasn't seeing it. Oh man, it was insane. So that's real. And that's where I feel like is the seven of swords, it's the self-deception. But I'm going to tell you guys this, when you pull into this mode of thinking that you're trapped and you're really not, that's the self-deception. Just watch who comes into your experience because that's an, and exactly energetically what will happen is you'll pull an emperor in who's going to take advantage of you. And you might not even say anything at all, but energetically people pick up on this. I am telling you that, okay, in your mind, You've got the Queen of Pentacles. This is awesome because I feel like for you guys, 
there's something here that you could still be in this self-deception mode when it comes to your finances and you being able to create this thing for yourself. So just continue to watch because you'll probably bring out a shadow side of this, you know, and I would continue to stay as generous as possible in your environments. Just look for places where you can give and that's going to keep that energy moving. It's going to help you to pull out of this stuckness that I can see there. Your final outcome. Wow. King of Pentacles. Oh, and freaking G, Scorps. Okay, I love this because it means that look what's happening. You're preparing right now in your mind. And look, either this is another person coming in and maybe making some type of generous offer or wanting commitment with you. However, that applies because I can definitely see this is correlated to certain partnerships, but you're working through your shadow. So there's something that you need to work out here you know, as you make a leap into something and getting balance, maybe going through some meditation and getting your emotions back up to balance and alchemically because someone's coming in with an actual stable offer. It's the light side of the lovers, not the shadow side. So in your final outcome, we have got the art of life. It says, there's no sacred light in the aura of life. Be bold in your skin, let your love dance in sight. And that's what I'm seeing here is that um, there's something here that I think you guys are really going to take some bold action towards. And for some of you, it could be tied to money, making money from it. Oh, I love this. Let me go ahead and dive into the extended and we'll see what else comes out. So Scorps, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you on the other side. But Scorpio, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.